Hey guys, Popo Springles here. Got a uh, short TDM game here on a Vanna, uh, using the I think it's the G11. Uh, let's soon find out. Just a sec. Yeah. Uh, quick question: What do people think about the G11 compared to the uh, M16? Uh, be interesting to hear your thoughts. For me, I find it very inconsistent, regardless of the connection. Um, I mean, it could be, you'll see that in, in this game, I get a few one bursts. I, I think um, some of my one bursts were down to the enemy already being hurt, but um, even still, I, I rarely get one burst kills. But um, well, I mean, it's, like I said, it's inconsistent. You know, now and again, you'll get the odd one burst kill, but sometimes it'd be two, three, or four bursts. Where I find the M16 a little bit more consistent. But I, I seem to find the, uh, I mean, the iron sights on the G, G11 easy to use, so that's why I tend to use that more than the M16. So yeah, E3 uh, just been. Um, what stands out for me? Probably uh, Nintendo's funny controller. <laughs> uh, I, I really don't see how they're going to do well with that. Granted, they got um, HD um, graphics coming, but... What else? Um, it's it's just it's just a console for kids and families that want to play together. It's no serious game is going to buy that, I don't think. So yeah, not not much, not much, not really much to say about that because the controller just makes me laugh. And the funny thing is that um, that controller is limited to I think one system, as in you know you can't buy it separately. I think you have. I assume they're going to. Ch I reckon they'll change that because a lot of people are going to moan. You know, the only way what it sounds like is that you have to buy another system to get another controller. God knows how that's going to work. But yeah, um, so Nintendo sucked. Um, Microsoft weren't much better, in my opinion. It mostly connect uh, stuff. The only thing I think was reasonably cool was the Connect Fun Labs. I'm not too sure what that is. It's kind of. It, I know, to me, it's kind of like um, the equivalent of PlayStation Minis, but just with a Kinect. I don't know. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but... Yeah, so, Sony kind of owned the show, to be honest. Uh, as uh, Swamp said on the Backpacking Scrubs podcast, um, there's just so much that they they talked about and what they got. They got the, you know, the Feeta. Still not sure about that name. Kind of weird, but I don't know, maybe, it, maybe it'll stick. Um, yes, yeah, so the Vita, the 3D TV, um, games for the Vita, um, exclusives like Persistence 3, um, obviously uh, Uncharted 3 is gonna, gonna be good. Uh, I don't really, didn't really watch much of that because kind of knew it's gonna be good anyway, uh, gra especially graphically. Battlefield 3, I am looking forward to that. Um, wasn't too impressed with their their single player demo to begin with. I think it was just them sitting in the tank. <laughs> but um I mean when I rewatch that you kind of watch it for the um the audio and the visuals and that and kind of see that it does very look very good. Um I just hope that um they increase the squad size because um I think uh you know more people on my list um, we'll play that, but unfortunately, if they only have four-man squads, they're going to be playing alone, and then just going to not stick with it. Um, you really need people to play with, uh, you know, to make it fun. Um, now, I think finally, probably Far Cry 3. Uh, that that looked good to me. Uh, Far Cry 2 was a letdown because of the um, quick travel system, but hopefully they've fixed that in Far Cry 3. So yeah, I mean. Just a few things. I mean, if you want to uh, hear some some of our thoughts about E3 and the stuff, check out the uh, podcast uh, Backpacking Scrubs. Um, I'll link you to it in the description. Uh, quick shout out to Slayer Boy and Swamps. Uh, their channels will be in the description, and uh, also the Game for Life channel, which will be in the description. So check it out. Um, not the best commentary, but who cares? See ya.